Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel Don Bosco School Tinshugia. Today I am going to discuss about some applications of trigonometry which deals with heights and distances. Heights and distances. How we can find the height of a big uh, tower or tree without reaching at the top? We can do uh, by using some formula which we are going to discuss here. This thing see at first, the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer. Try to understand what is the meaning of this statement. Suppose a person is standing here at the position, say it is E x, E x is the position of a person where a person is standing and E is the eye, E is the eye of that person. Now here telling what? The line of sight, mind the word, the line of sight, what is the line of sight? The line of sight is the line drawn, is the line drawn from the eye of an observer. In this diagram, where is the eye? E is the eye, from the eye of the observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer. So if the person is say E x, E x is the observer in which E is the eye and that observer wants to see an object at A. So when he looks at A, when he looks at that point A which the observer wants to see, then we can see a line is formed. Line is formed between that eye of the observer and the point of that object which he wants to see. So this line formed by the eye of the observer and the point of the object which the observer wants to see, the line so formed, it is called as line of sight. So here EA is the line of sight. So this EA it is line of sight. So that thing it is written here, the line of sight means what? The line of sight is the line drawn from where to where drawn from the eye from the eye of an observer which is here e e is the eye of an observer to where to the point in the object which points that observer wants to see in this diagram it is a so a is the point which the observer wants to see so the point in the object viewed by the observer so e a becomes the line of sight. Let us move to the second point which also we need for solving these problems, different problems based on height and distance. This is the angle of elevation, angle of elevation. It is written the angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level. Try to understand what is telling here. It is telling the angle of elevation, two words here we will have to uh, understand very nicely. One is angle of elevation and another one is angle of depression. Depression will get later on at first it is angle of elevation. What is this angle of elevation? The angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle, it is the, it is the angle formed by what thing? It is the angle formed by the line of sight. So for this diagram, the angle, here it is written as theta, theta means this angle. So angle formed by the line of sight, which is Ea. This angle theta, it is formed by the line of sight, which is Ea and what? with the mind this word with the horizontal with the horizontal means our eye level if we are looking like this then eye level like this straight it is parallel to the ground that is our horizontal level so here this angle theta it is formed by the line of sight ea and the line which is parallel to the ground which is eb so angle of elevation it is the angle formed by the line of sight and the horizontal 
when we look at up when our object is up above our eye level if our object is above our eye level then only we can get angle of elevation but not if we look down then another term will come angle of depression that one later on i'll discuss so once again here our angle of elevation will become what it is for this diagram theta which is formed by the line of sight which is ea ea is the line of sight and the horizontal that means our eye level eye level is the level parallel to the line which is parallel to the ground which is imaginary line parallel to the ground so here eb so eb is the horizontal level which is parallel to the ground so this theta angle is formed by the line of sight and the horizontal level eb is the horizontal level and this theta it is the angle of elevation so let's see once again what is written in this definition of angle of elevation the angle of elevation of the point viewed the point for which we want to see the angle of elevation so here a is that point is the angle formed by the line of sight line of sight which is ea in this case with the horizontal with the horizontal means in this case it is eb eb is the horizontal level when mind this words when the point of when the point being viewed the point which we want to see when the point being viewed is is what above the horizontal level that means above the horizontal level means that point or that object which we wants to see that should be above our eye if we are looking at up suppose we are standing on the road and looking at the top of a building then we will get angle of elevation so for this diagram we can see that ea is the line of sight then eb eb it is the horizontal level means our eye level theta theta is the angle of elevation and e here obviously our uh, eye is there so where there is eye there only from there only we can get angle of elevation okay next we will discuss about angle of depression angle of depression try to understand the meaning of this term suppose here ab ae is a building here ae is the building uh, an observer an observer is observing something say car or something like that at the point c from this point e then the angle formed by this line of sight ec will become our line of sight because this is the line formed by the eye of the observer and a point of the object which the observer wants to see so this is the line of sight and eb it is the horizontal level means it is the line parallel to the ground so the angle formed by this horizontal level and the line of sight this is called as angle of depression and when we get this angle of depression if we are looking down we are standing on top of a tower on top of a building and looking something down side then we get the angle of depression let's see in definition what is written the angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle mind this word it is the angle formed by the formed by the line of sight it is the angle formed by the line of sight in this diagram which is the line of sight yes it is ec ec is the line of sight you can see here written ec is the line of sight formed by the line of sight with the horizontal with the horizontal with the horizontal here which is the horizontal this eb eb is the horizontal you see here eb means horizontal or horizontal level so this angle this angle theta it is formed by the line of sight ec and the horizontal level which is eb then what is written when mind these words it is very important when the point is below the horizontal level so the thing which the observer wants to see if it is below the horizontal level so horizontal level is here 
and the point which the observer wants to see it is below the horizontal level then the angle formed by this line of sight and the horizontal level that is called as angle of depression in simple word we can say that angle of elevation we get when we look at up when something we want to see which is above our eye level this is our eye level then something if we want to see say what is there on the ceiling or above it then we will get angle of elevation but this is our eye level and we want to see what is there on the floor if you look down our eyes then we get the angle of depression so angle of depression it is formed by the line of sight and the horizontal level and angle of elevation also it is formed by the line of sight and the horizontal level but the basic difference is angle of elevation we get when we look at up when our object is above our eye level and angle of depression we get when our object is below our eye level so if you have understood these two terms angle of elevation and angle of depression then we can solve the problems based on this uh, angle of elevation and angle of depression in our next class we will take some problems and there we'll try to solve problems based on height and distance hope we'll meet soon take care bye bye